Hello and Merry Meet. This is Elder Tahila from the Coven of the Open Mind, and this is a new series that we're calling Metaphysics 101. In this series, we'll talk about some of the basic uh, physics principles that are required to understand a picture of the universe that is bizarre, that is beyond any what is typically a conceptual understanding of physics. Many of the principles that we'll talk about here are hard to understand because they aren't things that we observe every day. For instance, you don't need to understand the formulas that describe how gravity works and what gravity is in order to know that when you drop something, it's going to fall and hit the ground. You learn from a very young age that gravity exists, that gravity binds you to the earth, and that any amount of activity which goes against gravity requires force or effort. So laying down doesn't require as much effort as sitting up. And you learn that from a very young age. You have a conceptual understanding of gravity. It is part of your world view. When we talk about metaphysics, uh, we're talking about principles of physics that themselves are often theoretical. When you say something is quote unquote just a theory, that is a colloquialism that reduces what it means to be a scientific theory in a way that is actually fallacious, that doesn't make any sense. A scientific theory is a collection of statements, often mathematical, which describe and predict the nature of the universe. These are things that must be falsifiable, so they can be proven wrong. Uh, but they aren't usually things that are proven right. You look for evidence in the natural world to support one theory or another. A good theory is one that makes accurate predictions, that doesn't uh, propose any violations to other uh, highly respected theories. It certainly is not going to be violating any laws, so that's the difference between a theory and a law. A scientific law is something that is observed to happen, and a theory is the explanation for why that observation happens. So this series will talk about the science and the theories behind all of the different things that happen uh, in our universe, and then it will also talk a little bit about what those theories mean or what they could mean, and that is the part that is meta. Okay, that is the part that is not real science. The conclusions and things that you can draw from these theories are often things that are not themselves falsifiable, uh, so they're more like beliefs. Um, but, but you could also look at them as just being logical conclusions of the current theories, which at any time could change if the science changes if we learn new things. These theories are not things that are likely to be proven wrong, as I said. It is likely that these theories will be added to, uh, corrected, modified in small ways. Uh, that is how the scientific process works to ensure that every theory that gets published um, is by itself good science, is a reflection of truth. Uh, it just might be the case that there's more truth that needs to be considered later on. So take, for instance, Newton's laws of motion, which describe uh, how all things move relative to each other, how force works, how if I push something, uh, then that's going to exert a force on me as well. Uh, and these laws uh, were always correct. Newton published them. They were correct. And then Einstein came along and said, okay, well, these are correct, except in certain circumstances, when you're moving very fast, for instance, or when things are really massive. So Einstein came along and said, yeah, these are right most of the time, but sometimes this isn't really how things work. And that's going to be the subject of our first lecture, special relativity.
one very good practice to get into for all of you is to understand some of the basic signs, even if you don't know the math, at least the concepts. And that will allow you to know if a claim that someone is making is just their interpretation or if it really is a fundamental truth that's true for all of us. So I hope that you guys enjoy the series. It's going to be a little dense and a little hard to get through, but I'll try to keep the video short uh, and cover only exactly what has to be covered. There should be 10 uh, lectures in this series, give or take, and each one will talk about a different area of physics, and that will allow us to slowly build towards one large final theory of literally everything, including religion. That's probably enough of an introduction, so I'll wrap this intro video up and get started with our series. I hope you guys enjoy it. Blessed be.